hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel how are you guys uh, right now in front of you hp laser jet printer 1005 model and the issue is with this printer heater film is uh, broken we will change today a fuser sleeve okay fuser sleeve will change stay with me watch the complete video if you want to change your fuser sleeve so how we will disassemble it and how we will change first of all viewers we have to remove the front cover uh, to disassemble this assembling the process uh, there are two locks in the downside for front cover as you can see we will remove these locks and disconnect the front cover like this okay we'll keep it aside and now we have to remove the both covers right and left two screws are behind we will unscrew these two screws first on the right one then on the left one then we will remove the covers with the help of flat screwdriver there are some locks down side and the left side uh, um, just uh, the help of flat screwdriver like this okay and then from the top also one lock from here it's like this uh, now we will remove the other one locks on the down also one is on the top and just easily you can remove this okay viewers now we will remove the format board uh, just remove three screws from here also remove the cable second screw is on the board main board and the other one here okay keep it aside carefully because uh, this board is essential part in the printer now you have to remove this back cover there is one screw um, uh, downside uh, you can remove this screw and then this uh, iron plate will we have to release the iron plate uh, from here or maybe from the upper side also okay here, like this and from the other side also uh, okay here we go the iron plate and now we will release the stop cover from the fuser hooks and one is a hook for the drive is coming on the right side and just pull it it will come outside automatically okay is our printer is next now now we have to remove the cables first of all we will remove <coughs> ground cable that is coming uh, from the main high voltage board remove this ground cable pink color and you have to make sure that the from the you have to place this cables back again the same way now this is main voltage high voltage for fuser remove this and there will be left three cables connectors more for sensors uh, the sensor for the paper sensor in the fuser and right uh, behind the printer uh, you have to uh, pull with forcefully because there is no other way you have to pull it like this and also other one and the last one here ok remove these cables from the plastic panel slowly and then we have to disassemble the fuser unit from the printer here is one uh, plastic part here to carrying the cable remove this lock and it will come outside automatically uh, like this okay keep it aside because we have to fix back again after fixing this lip okay because now there are three screws uh, on this uh, fuser 
one on the right side and two are on the left sides and we have to remove this screw to release the fuser unit from the printer here we go one and the two are here okay be careful that should not fall inside the screw okay now we can lift the fuser unit and here is our fuser we have to open this to change the sleeve first i will keep it keep two papers down to not uh, misplace the things accessories of this fuser unit uh, we have to remove this plastic okay remove these two screws one is on the right side and the other one on the left side then this uh, top cover of this uh, fuser will be released okay here we go this is our fuser you can see on the right side there is no sleeve it's broken and disconnected like paper because sleeve is like a paper okay we have to release the fuser from its unit first of all remove this cable then with the help of uh, <coughs> long nose player the two springs we have to release okay on both sides and <coughs> now pull push pull this spring and remove this hook of the holder and same on this side pull this spring with nose player then you will be able to remove this fuser <coughs> now we have to clean this fuser first of all remove this side plastic and remove the old sleeve now we will clean this uh, first of all clean with uh, tissue paper and clean it well no need to remove this glass from uh, the heater and leave this and, the, and this is the black uh, this uh, toner is on the fuser remove it with the help of blade or flat screwdriver and if you have any spray and uh, just uh, throw, throw a little bit of spray like alcohol or any perfume or anything I will use I have one spray W90 same like uh, thinner uh, dryable clean it well and uh, make make sure that the old grease should not be uh, on the fuser clean it uh, carefully and now we will <coughs> make grease on our fuser before we have to make the grease be before we uh, place the new f sleeve on the fuser okay don't uh, make too much greasy just uh, a little bit on the top side and the bottom side okay then we will insert our new sleeve after grease it well we will put a little bit more on this side the back side was not much now we will insert this leaf okay it's rotating fine and now we will place back the side 
knock off the fuser clean it before because there is all grease on this uh, knock it should be clean carefully and insert it inside the sleeve don't damage the sleeve while inserting it now we will put back this fuser to the unit and make sure the pressure roller is fine on the downside it should be not be damaged the pressure roller also because the pressure roller is not good it will not print well quality now place back these uh, law holders and with this spring and hook okay again with the help of uh, nose player and we will <coughs> We will pull it to mm, keep this spring on it, its place like this. Okay. And okay. Now this side also. Place back this uh, plastic that will hold the top cover. Then insert this lock. This hook in the lock will hold the fuser and then pull the spring with the help of nose player ok fine now we have to place back this clean this well the grease if there is any grease on the top of the sleeve then we will place this plastic after clean it well we will put back like this uh, there will be two locks will come over here see like this and okay fine now place the screws this is the lock that i mentioned earlier fix back the screws two screws one on the each side <coughs> second one over here Okay, now our fuser is ready we can place it back to the printer and we will manage the space now and we will return back this unit to the printer same way disassemble before fix this cable before uh, we formed out earlier like this Okay, here we go. And now, okay, this is the sensor in the fuser. Okay, now we will return this fuser to the printer. this and after fix it well place the screws three screws two on the left side and one on the right side Okay, these are the screws uh, 
ok fuser is fixed well now we will place back the cables the sensor 3 cables will go to the main high voltage board ok here is one plastic that we removed earlier we will place it back it will give the path to the cables high voltage cable for fuser and these three cables <coughs> okay now we will bring this cable also down and we'll fix on the main board first these three cables we will connect one by one Okay, this is the second one and this is the third one then we will insert our main cable and this is the high voltage cable for fuser 220 voltage and now the ground cable we will bring back again that we remove in the beginning the first one cable that we removed will come in the end this is ground for main board put it with the hand or with the player as you your convenient <coughs> now we will uh, this cable fixed well we can place back our data board okay and place this screw for the data board three screws we removed earlier fix back these screws then we will insert back our covers and this is the data cable Now we will uh, place the top cover guys, mm, these are two locks, we have to place it well in on the top side and then the back, this iron plate we removed before, like this insert it and we will fix smoothly, one screw was on the down and the other two screw will fix uh, right after the we will insert the side covers now here we have to these uh, fuser uh, holders we have to connect it with the top cover because for the each time when you will open the top cover fuser will release uh, and this is one the drive drive gear also we connect with this top cover fixed it and now we can see it's open and shut smoothly now we will place our side covers that will be removed in the beginning just to the left cover place from the front side and there is a lock we have to push this same like here on the right one we will place there a lock in the front side from the first from the front then we place back to the like this here are one LED light make sure it's interrupting fix it fine don't break this ok here we go now only the front cover is left we will place our front cover from the top first like this not from the down from the top and then like this place ok it's fixed now easily and our printer is ready guys from everywhere there is nothing left only two screws we will fix back 
okay now we will our printer is ready we will check with the power cable is there any error or working fine okay now we will test uh, print with self test page turn it on okay it's turning on and I will insert blank sheet inside because we're going to print a self test page to make sure that the slave is working fine it's that way our work okay this is self test page three or four times open and shut top cover and uh, it will take the paper automatically and print the lines on the page to just make sure that printer toner is in pickup roller is working fine and you can see it's printed fine before this one no printing on the right side okay now there is no issue at all with this printer okay viewers this was the method you can use the same method with the 1102 as well and very easy i think less than 20 minutes we replace the fuser sleeve if you have any question regarding this printer or 1102 printer you can ask me in the comments and give your feedback uh, i will really appreciate and don't forget to subscribe the channel guys thank you for watching take care bye